Hi, and welcome to Spice and Pans. Today we'll be cooking braised ribs in secret sauce or mi zi pai gu. So let's start cooking. Now we'll pan fry our ribs first. I'm using a 32 cm galactic wok by La Gourmet. Add in some oil. Swirl the oil around a little bit. I'm using medium heat for this. Add in half a kilogram of pork ribs. Place the meat part down. We want to brown this. The purpose of doing so is that later when we braise this, it will absorb the sauce much better. Make sure every single piece of it has contact with the wok. We'll fry this for a few minutes or brown this first. Don't move the ribs around first. Let it fry and get brown on one side first. I'll be frying this about two minutes. Let's just have a check. This is what we want, a little bit of browning over here. So now we turn it all to the other side. Same thing, fry it for another two minutes or so. Some of you may be wondering how do you clean the ribs or wash the ribs. For me, for this dish, it's very simple. I just wash it with water and then pat it dry. In some other method, you can actually add a little bit of flour, water, and then you just wash them together and then wash it up again. It's really up to you. I'll be frying the other side for about a minute. So let's just push this to the other side and I'll start to fry our garlic and shallots. Add a little bit of oil. Add in two pieces of shallots. Mince it up like this. Add in also three cloves of garlic chopped. Fry them until fragrant. Once you can start to smell the beautiful fragrance coming up, we'll add in our fermented broad bean paste. Add in one tablespoon of fermented broad bean paste. Now we can start to mix this up together. It's already smelling very, very good. Now we'll add in two tablespoons of black vinegar and three tablespoons of Chinese rice wine. Mix them up. If you do not have black vinegar, you can always replace it with white vinegar, apple cider, or even lemon juice. No problem at all. The purpose of the vinegar as well as the rice wine is to get rid of any porkiness if there's any, and to enhance the beautiful flavor of this dish. Now we'll add in water, just enough to cover the ribs. Still maintaining at medium heat, we need this to come to a boil before we put the cover on and we'll add in the rest of our other ingredients. Add in one tablespoon of oyster sauce. Add in two tablespoons of light soy sauce. Add in one and a half tablespoon of dark soy sauce. And add in two tablespoons of brown sugar. If you do not have brown sugar, you can always use white sugar, cane sugar or even rock sugar, no problem at all. Give it a good mix. We'll wait for this to come to a boil before we put our lid on. The reason why we need this to come to a boil is because we want to evaporate the vinegar as well as the alcohol from the rice wine so that this dish will not become too sour. Once it's boiling, we'll put on the lid, turn the heat down to low and we'll braise this for 30 minutes. Along the way, please do check that the liquid is still there so that we don't want to burn the dish. I'll see you back in a while. 30 minutes is up. Let's have a look. Wow, smells really fantastic. Mm -mm. Now we'll turn the heat up to high and we'll reduce the sauce until it's sticky. This will take approximately 10 minutes to 15 minutes. I'll see you back in a while. I've been frying the ribs for a few minutes now and the sauce has taken up very nicely like this. This is what we want. You do not need to use the timing as a gauge. Basically, it all depends on how high your heat is and how fast the sauce actually evaporates. So we need something like this, right? The sauce is very, very thick. This is what we want. Now we'll add in our spring onions. Sprinkle them in. Turn off the heat. Give it a good stir. And now it's time for our lunch. Beautiful. And now the dish is done, let's have a taste. 
smells really, really, really good. Let's have a taste. Oh, hmm. The explosion of flavor, savory, a little bit of sweetness. This is really, really, really good with steamed rice. So ladies and gentlemen, I hope you like our video. Do click like on our video and do subscribe to our channel. And now it's your turn to cook. See you. Bye-bye. Wow, yeah.